It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be my friend? It's Dusty's girl here. Welcome back to my channel. It is Keto November day seven. I'm up. I'm dressed. It's such a beautiful day. And I'm ready to get started. So as you go, I'm gonna come down, step down. It's so sunny out. It was rainy yesterday, but now the sun has cleared up. And as you guys can see, there's a Dusty. Say, hey, everybody. Say, what's up, good peeps? So yeah, I'm looking forward to spending the day with you guys. So this morning, I'm actually gonna head out. I'm going to go to um, the Village Learning Place, which is a nonprofit public library. And my girlfriend is gonna be working there today, but I need to like get caught up on some work with school. And I normally don't do my best in the house. So I'm gonna take my laptop out and I'm gonna go sit, hang out, chat with her and do some reading, get some quizzes done and possibly get majority of this paper that I can't seem to get past the first paragraph. So that's what I'm planning on doing today. So I'm getting ready to make me some bulletproof coffee to take along with me. And I also have one more of that chicken and spinach and tomato. I don't waste food. So that's the last container I have of that. So I will take that out with me as well. And then I guess while I'm at the library, I will ponder on what I'm going to have for dinner. So yeah, that's kind of like the day plan. Nothing major, just schoolwork and keto. Hey guys, I'm back. So I've been sitting in the Village Learning Place Library since like 10.30 this morning. Um, I'm just leaving because I need to like run home and um, I have someone coming over to look at some things that they possibly want to purchase. But I feel really good about today because I got a lot of schoolwork done. I was able to talk to my academic coach and she literally saved my life because I've been having a really hard time on a paper and I didn't know where to get started. So yeah, but I think once I get in the house and this person comes, then I'm going to try to get started on dinner. However, I don't know what I want to cook yet. So I think I'm going to hit Pinterest up and find something. In the meantime, I don't record and drive, which is what I'm doing right now. So let me stop breaking the law. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, I'm back again. So it's a little bit late, but I'm actually gonna head into my local Whole Foods because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to eat, but I'm gonna do roasted Asian Brussels sprouts and shrimp. So inside the store we go. Say hi to the people, Robin. So I kind of like know exactly like what I need to get, so. This is like the best salad ever. They have the best like crab cakes here ever. Guys, they have lilies. This one is like my favorite one right here. I love my chocolate, so. So here's like, why is this stuff so, like the sesame oil is high, 419, 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna omit the sesame oil. I have oyster sauce in the house, so I may just use that. But yeah. And then this rice vinegar. I mean, I have like red wine vinegar in the house, so maybe I'll just use that. Oh no, maybe we'll do this one. It's like $2.99, so this isn't too bad. We'll do this. I have a question. What in the F is $8 for a little personal size ice cream? People are really crazy. It is a shame. And I repeat, it is a shame how people are trying to milk those that are trying to get them live, their lives in order. So I'm going to go hit on and I'm going to go with what I know. And I'm going to get this mint chip. I'm going to get this mint chip halo top. That's what I'm going to get. Because I love me some ice cream. Just like a spoonful of it here and there. So, yeah. Hey guys, so, I picked up my stuff. I got one bag full. And so now I'm going to rush home and try to cook before it gets to the See you soon. Okay, guys. So, I'm back and ready to get cooked. So, for starters, like I just went on and I kind of like prepped my food. So I peeled, washed, and deveined my shrimp. I sliced my Brussels sprouts in half and I drizzled them in avocado oil. And then I made this um, marinade, which consists of a third cup of soy sauce, a tablespoon of rice vinegar, um, a two tablespoons of monk fruit, but I just used Truvia instead. Um, from there, two tablespoons of agave. Instead of using the sesame oil, I just used a half a teaspoon of the oyster sauce and then a half a um, teaspoon of the garlic. So I'm going to go heat on and I'm going to spray my pan really good with some olive oil so that it doesn't stick. And then from there, I'm going to get these Brussels sprouts. On the pan so I have the oven set at 400 degrees I'm gonna set my timer for it calls for 15 minutes but I really like my Brussels sprouts crispy so I'm going to do 20 so I'm gonna set this for 20 minutes and I'm gonna go heat on I'm gonna put the Brussels in. in the meantime I'm going to marinate the shrimp with half of yeah like half of this glaze right here and then from there, I need to grab a fork. I'm just gonna go heat on. And I'm gonna get this incorporated really well. And then I'm gonna put a lid on this and I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator so that this can marinate for at least 20 minutes. And then we'll be back. Okay guys, so 15 minutes have gone by. I'm gonna get my sprouts out. Oh, I forgot guys, I went on and I sprinkled some pepper on these because I forgot to do it. So, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna move all of this to one side. They're trying to get crispy, like how I like them. And then I'm going to make room for the shrimp. So I'm going to just lay the shrimp, like I'm going to take the shrimp out of this and just lay it flat down. So once I get all of this like flat out, I'm gonna just dump this marinade out because it had raw shrimp in it. Okay, so I'm gonna get this here and I'm gonna get these laid out nice and flat so that they can cook. 
And then I'm going to put this back into the oven for another eight minutes. I'll be back in eight minutes. Oh, these look really, this looks really nice. Look at that. So I'm gonna give this a mix. I'm gonna grab a spoon. I'm gonna mix all of this up together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can have lots of fun. Let's get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody remember the current trap? I do. The new one was with Lindsay Lohan, but the original one, I don't know what her OS name is because she old as shit. But it's all good though. Good fucking movie. So now that I have this like kind of like mixed up, I'm going to take my base and brush and I'm just going to like base and brush the rest of this and i'll just dump the rest of this damn marinade down in the trash in the sink i'm sorry because i don't really eat stuff like this but the sink like good deal i'm gonna give it another And I'm just going to put this back into the oven for like, it, I mean, the recipe says you can kind of serve it like how it is, but for me, the shrimp and the Brussels sprouts don't look like they're cooked to my liking. I like my food well done. So I'm just going to put this back in the oven for a few minutes and then we'll give this a taste test. Okay guys, so we're all done and we're all plated and... It is like 22 minutes after when I'm supposed to start my fast. So I'm gonna be fasting late tonight cause I'm really hungry, but I have yet to give this a try. So anyways, I have it plated up. I'm gonna go hit on. I'm gonna sit back, maybe open my computer, maybe do some reading for school and eat for the night, but I'm gonna flip this camera over. So yeah, so that just about does it for me today. I mean, um. Pretty basic day, spent the day at the library, getting some schoolwork done, and then kind of got home, cooked a little late, so. Oh, also the credit for this food goes to Kaylin's Kitchen. I found this recipe on Pinterest, but I just went to the website to download the ingredients and the steps and stuff like that. So Kaylin's Kitchen is the recipe for this roasted Asian shrimp in Brussels, so. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ciao.